You are being exploited ruthlessly. Get critical, get informed, get wise, because they are coming for you. Occupy believes that there are alternatives. We seek them through democratic public assemblies. Critical thinking, occupations of public spaces, the reclaiming of abandoned buildings for community use, and affiliating with local and global campaigns that fight injustice wherever they see it. We are not going to stop doing that until the injustices stop. The current austerity cuts we believe are not necessary. And I guess you believe it too, that's why you're here. They are there to pay for the bankers' crisis. Economic institutions that played Russian roulette with our gains, with our pensions, with our property, with our country's national assets. Occupy comes from all walks of life. It's teachers, carers, midwives, mothers, lawyers, poets, ex-soldiers, singers, claimants, students, bin men and ex bailies who could no longer bear to repossess the homes of those who were made redundant. The public services here have been cut by approximately 27%, resulting in a massive increase in the workload, the hours and the stress of those still lucky enough to have a job. And what were they rewarded with for that job? Pay rises consistently well below public inflation while the CEOs of massive corporations saw their pay raised by 21%. Or more. How is that sustainable? How is that just? And of course the figures can go up and up and up. We concentrated when we first arrived on the City of London Corporation because we saw that as the tip of the filthy iceberg that our government is taking us into. But once you start scratching the surface, they're not even the worst. They're not even the least democratic, dangerous and exploitative. The corporations are everywhere, putting profits before people, and we say enough is enough. Something very interesting when he came down to speak to Occupy London. He said, We are not the revolution, the revolution is coming. We are the canary at the coalface, warning of trouble. Now, Occupy is a really young movement. We're only six months old in this country. We're fluid and we're horizontal. And we are leaderless by choice. And we are learning every day. And you, all of you, the unions, the workers all over the world have so much to teach us, so much to join in on, so many conversations to have. We stand in solidarity with the global oppressed, and on this day in particular with the workers of the world. And I'd like to call out for solidarity for the Palestinian hunger strikers today. self-determination because we failed so how could we possibly teach another nation how to do it right? We are currently educating a youth for what? We are educating men for thinking that a quick buck and easy profit is the way forward. We are sending millions of young people into lifelong debt without the remotest possibility of a job in the industry they train for at the end of it. So is it surprising that we saw rage and nihilism flood the streets of our cities last August? And what's going to happen this year when the rest of the cuts are implemented? I'm straight to think. But luckily, we hear the police are going to be privatised and there will be profit in the rest. <laughs> and public protest will be increasingly criminalised. Get learning, because the things that are coming will turn your hair green. Why do we occupy? The answer's in the name. It's nothing new. The green and common women occupied. The Jaya Square people occupied until something was done. But we will not go away until we believe the issues are addressed. You don't need a tent to be an occupier, but they are a very powerful symbol of reclaiming public spaces that have been sold off to corporations. And change is frightening. And if you feel frightened and alone, you're not. 
you are the blood, the heart, the soul, the brains of the body politic, and the limbs the politicians need to do what we tell them to do. I'm going to finish off telling you a few amazing things that Occupy are doing and welcoming you all to join us. Every Saturday at 2 o'clock we meet on the steps of St Paul's Cathedral and we talk, we discuss, we look for ways forward. Every Friday we meet at 6.30 on the steps of St Paul's Cathedral where we haven't gone. And we walk somewhere relevant and we do more politics. And this May the 12th, we are having a whole day of public action, pop-up, flash occupations, everywhere, watch out, we'll be in your square soon, you guys. <laughs> and then we're having a brand new day of fun around the pool, the next result. On May the 3rd, there was a big fixed energy battle, a climate justice leads the protest against the monopolies and lies of the hugely profitable big six energy companies that block investment in alternative technologies, but thrive from escalating tariffs and enormous profits as old people freeze to death and the planet suffocates. Our general assemblies are there for everyone. And on May the 15th, we hope you will join us in St Paul's Square for a celebration of the beginning of the Spanish movement, M15, and you'll come with us and join in the conversation. Enough poverty and starvation. Enough police intimidation. Enough corporate tax evasion. Enough homelessness in this nation. Enough carbon emissions. Enough cuts to our pensions. Enough money for ammunition. Enough demoralization. Enough is enough. We hope to be the National Union of Students, but unfortunately the, the speaker has failed to appear. All I would like to say now is I noticed that John McDonald was marching with us today, who is one of the best way grantees we have. So thanks, thanks John for supporting us. I'd also like to say apologies to Tony Ben, who hardly ever misses this event. Unfortunately, he had a previous engagement in Leeds today, but he sends his best wishes from us and he would have liked to have been here, I'm sure. So I'd like to thank every single one of you for being with us today, for supporting the trade union movement, supporting all the other organisations on the top occupied, and let's do it again next year, Conrad. Solidarity! Support the campaign, go to the conference. The campaign, go to the conference. Yep, it's uh, very hot. Uh, yes, at least uh, I finally decided to uh, recharge my battery. I was, I was having problems with it. Oh, dear. oh literally? Her feet went metaphorically. No, no. So, <laughs> um, uh, I have a couple of battery batteries for the iPhone because the iPhone batteries are crap, really. So I ended up having to uh, do something. Are we waiting for uh, the concert later? There's a concert about half six. <laughs> oh, really? After the work, I think? Yes. Who's uh, playing? London Philharmonic Or uh, Orchestra. Ah, uh, I saw that. They're sponsored by BMW. Doesn't matter. We can always. Uh, 
<laughs> Occupy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not just BMW, it's also sponsored by UBS. Really? Oh, you seriously? No, 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 yeah. Oh, we should definitely end it back here. Seriously, UBS is so that's what they tell me. And I, uh, I haven't actually uh, looked at it. I'll still be thinking only of uh, uh, oh, uh, a classical concert. I wouldn't mind uh, being there. <laughs> you have your t-shirt on and I have this thing on. Everything's too hot. Anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the show. Are you coming to work, guys? Of course. See you at work fair. It is, uh, well, 15.25. Where is work fair now? Uh, 4 o'clock Bond Street. Yeah. Okay guys, uh, 1600 hours, 4 p.m. Uh, Bond Street, oh yes, one new change. That is uh, outside the Bond Street tube station that we be Central Line and Jubilee Line. Yeah. So if you'd like to uh, join us, that'd be great. See you later.